He proposed to me by asking me if I wanted to go to dinner. So he showed up at my house in a really nice uh, suit jacket with flowers. Um, he gives me this this gift and I open it and it's a, a shadow box of a bunch of different mementos and then a card that went with it that talked about all these different firsts that we'd experienced. There was a little card inside. It was a beautifully written card about how much he cares about me and thinks about me and um, the things that he loves about me. I love that moment though because it was the first time I'd seen him cry and I was just so in awe of how much emotion that he was expressing. He got down on one knee and I still am just in awe of him crying for the first time in front of me. And then uh, he asked me, like, will you marry me? I'm like, yes, of course. She brings a lot of happiness and joy to my life. You know, she's got a very infectious smile. She just lights up a room, which in turn lights lights the people in the room up. Hi. Oh, you look so good. <laughs>Two families are being blended, not just two lives, and we're here to say that God is good. You have an amazing soul, a kind, gentle spirit, and such a caring heart. Being around you makes me want to be a better man, and ultimately be the best man and husband I can for you. I'm committing to be your husband, I'm committing to love you forever, to honor you each and every day, to protect you, to provide for you, to care for you the best way that I can. I'm here for you in good times and bad, in our greatest joys and deepest sorrows. We're a team, I'm not going anywhere. You pull me out of my comfort zone, you challenge me, you make me think. But in turn, you've empowered me to find my voice and grow in countless ways that I didn't even know that I needed. I'm a better person because of you. And I'm so thankful that God gave me you. I'm so grateful for the way that you make me feel seen and accepted for who I really am, for how patient and selfish you are with me on the hard days when I'm not my best self, and for the way that you point me to truth and remind me of my worth in Jesus, the way that you protect me and advocate for me, for how you've taught me that a conflict doesn't mean anyone has to leave, and for the laughter and the peace that you bring to me. And as your wife, I promise to be faithful and humble and put you before myself. I promise to support you and stand by your side, to cheer you on and celebrate your wins, to be patient and a good listener, to nurture your heart when it hurts, to respect you and appreciate you, and to choose to love you every single day. It's my joy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. He's super loyal. I think you already know that. And he's got your back. 
irrespective of the situation. So I, I know you're getting an awesome guy who's gonna take care of you with every fiber of his being. And I'm just super excited for both of you guys. And I think you got a great guy. So no doubts on that. Steve and Jasmine, may they have a long and loving life together. And for a long, long time, I thought that nobody in this world was good enough for her. And then I met Steve. And right before I was even ready to admit it, I could clearly see that he was meant, that you guys were meant to spend the rest of your lives together. And it's not often that two people so perfect for each other actually find each other. And these two right here are as equally yoked as it gets. You only deserve the best of the best. Um, you deserve to be loved unconditionally and you deserve to be cared for. You deserve someone to go above and beyond for you because that's the type of person you are to others. Um, I hope this new chapter of your life is filled with um, new adventures and new discoveries within yourself and uncontrollable laughter. I love you so much. I'm so, 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 so happy and proud of you and happy for you to y'all. Woo! <laughs>